good morning people today it's thursday welcome back to the grand vlogs and we're going to be talking about tips i have four tips for the instacart shoppers or uber Eats drivers or lyft drivers basically any type of driver or gig worker i'm gonna give you guys four tips that i find very helpful for myself so let's get into it tip number one is two dollars per mile so let's say you take a seven mile trip it should pay you at least 14 because that's a way that we can be profitable on these platforms like the instacart uber eats let's say doordash two dollars per mile is good exception i would say would be a one mile trip that has no tip but it's paying like seven bucks but that's because it goes past the two dollars so that's tip number one tip number two is the no tips i would say don't take those if you see a no tip for example it's paying you let's say five bucks or eight bucks to deliver the let's say five miles honestly you're at least supposed to get ten bucks so if the person had tipped you at least two bucks it would be in the ten dollars which is two bucks per month so basically once you have a no tipper it unfortunately puts the drivers in a not the best spot so i would say don't take no tip orders unless it makes sense so that's my tip number two tip number three is protect yourself um always take pictures so as you saw in that example i showed you i took a picture of people's address and I send it in the chat of Instacart or let's say I'm doing Uber Eats, I would send it in the Uber Eats chat to the customer. I send the address, the groceries or the food I dropped off at the door. And, you know, I also take extra pictures for myself. So these three things are, these pictures are basically gonna help you prove your points. Let's say you have a customer who say you didn't deliver, um, but you had sent pictures on the chat with the customer hey thank you for shopping with us and you put a picture of the bag where you dropped it off on the door and their unit number or let's say if it's a house their address and their groceries at the door that's gonna prove to any platform that you're delivering in that the customer is not telling the truth and that you actually delivered it um, so that's one way to protect yourself um, so I would say always take pictures um, and have those pictures in the chat. Don't just keep them for yourself, but be sure you could do that, but also send them in the chat. Let's say I dropped off in front of your house or your apartment, I will take a picture of your unit and also of the groceries at your front door. I will thank you for shopping and I will tell you have a nice day. Thank you for shopping with me, or with us. Um, and you know, it'll come off kind of polite and you will see it as just courteous and customer service. Um, in reality, you're also doing, going the extra mile to protect yourself, which is important because unfortunately we could run into situations where people are dishonest and not really going to, they're not going to understand what are the consequences for us. So that's my tip number three. Tip number four is set goals. Um, for me, I set a goal of making 40 bucks per day and I do that seven times a week. So what I do is I end up making like 280 and then there's good days, kind of like yesterday, which was a Wednesday, I made 60 something. And uh, what that does for me is it puts me at $300 on Instacart. And once the adjustments come in, I'm at like 400 something close to 500 and on better days i'm at 600 so i would say just make sure that you set yourself with the goals and you meet them that way you know if it's 20 bucks per day if it's 40 um set a goal in mind my goal is to make 300 per week on instacart and then with the adjustments it basically decorates the earnings which make it look nicer for me um so yeah set a goal in mind and it'll pay off and uh, 
that's tip number four just set a goal in mind and you know put your mind to work and also put uh the efforts to do it and be patient at times it's necessary because sometimes it's slow and sometimes it's not so just set a goal and if you want to do 100 per day go for it for me it's 40 it works for well i make what i have to on this app so that's my fourth tip thank you guys for watching the grand vlogs hit that like button hit the subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video i hope these tips are helpful to you and that it helps you make more money on the apps so if you guys can hit the like button hit the subscribe and i'll see you guys next thursday you guys have a blessed day